I am super excited to announce that Meta has finally given us a Facebook Ads feature that I and many other Facebook advertisers have been calling for for years. It's a really exciting new feature and in this video I'm going to show you what it is, I'm going to show you how to use it and I'm going to explain why this is going to be a game changer for a lot of Facebook advertisers. So what is this new feature? Well you can now run a Facebook ad campaign to directly promote and grow a Facebook group. Now, I know a thing or two about growing Facebook groups. I have the largest Facebook group for Facebook advertising in the world, and I've used all sorts of different strategies to grow that group over the last five years. We used to use lots of workarounds, lots of ways that we could get people to take an intermediary step, like liking our Facebook page and then invite them to join the group, and all sorts of things to, to build Facebook groups because we know how valuable they are. Well, now we have a direct solution from Meta where we can literally send people directly from an ad to our Facebook group to go ahead and join it. Awesome. Yes. Really excited about this. I think it's gonna be a really big deal and let's get into it. So this feature is still in rollout right now. Only certain Facebook ad accounts have it. It will obviously be rolled out um, everywhere in the coming well, weeks and months, but if you don't see it yet, it simply just hasn't got to you yet. You haven't made any errors or anything like that, or there's nothing you've done wrong. It just, this is how Meta does things. They roll things out um, to different accounts at different stages to make sure there aren't any issues and, and nothing gets crashed when they do like a, a wide rollout, um, for example, okay? But how do you go about actually taking advantage of this and how do you create a campaign to promote a Facebook group? So within Ads Manager, if you create a new campaign, you want to select the engagement objective. And then once you've done that, you come through to the ad set level. The first section is going to be conversion location. And then you should see this new option at the bottom that's Facebook group beneath Facebook page. Now I've talked recently about running engagement campaigns directing people to your Facebook page to grow your Facebook page to get likes and followers there. This is going to work quite similarly, but obviously directing people straight through to a Facebook group. And I'll explain the differences because there are they are significant and, and this is more exciting in my opinion, but you should see that Facebook group option um, pop up when this becomes available in your ad account. If it's not there yet, you simply don't have it. Um, don't worry too much. Hopefully you will get it soon. One other thing that I want to quickly mention because some Facebook ad accounts actually have a different setup but you'll be able to achieve the same thing. So instead of having Facebook group as a conversion location, instead you want to select on your ad, and you can see from the description that group is, is one of the options. And then once you do that, you want to change the engagement type to group join, and then that's effectively going to work in the same way as where I just described. Some Facebook ad accounts have it the first way, some Facebook ad accounts have it this way. Not really sure why they make it that confusing, but there you go. Okay, so once you select Facebook group as your conversion location, you'll see that the performance goal gets automatically changed to maximize number of link clicks and that is fixed. Now performance goal is what Meta is optimizing for. What are they trying to get you with this campaign? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? Typically we'd recommend optimizing for the end thing that you want, like a purchase or a lead or something like that. In this scenario, I thought the Meta was going to offer an option which was um, the performance goal being actually get group followers, to so get as many group followers as possible. Obviously Meta could track that because it's all within platform and could optimize for it, but they've chosen not to do so. I think they're worried about that end up targeting people that just follow lots of groups and maybe are gonna spam the group and do things that you don't want in there if you optimize for that. Because of course, those are the people that are most likely to join your group, right? The people that are doing those sorts of activities and the algorithm will pick up on that and then put ads in front of them first. So maybe that's not the best thing to, to actually optimize for. So they fixed it, link clicks. Obviously people who are gonna click, a good percentage of those are then going to go on to, to follow as well. I'd like to think that over time, Meta's gonna get a bit more sophisticated here, and they are going to introduce an option that is optimizing for people actually joining the group, but maybe that takes into account people can only join so many groups, or there's some other criteria to make sure that the quality of those group members are high, because with a Facebook group, you're building a community, it's a long-term um, play that can help you achieve fantastic business objectives, but you wanna make sure the quality of the group and the interactions in there are, uh, are good, okay? Next thing you need to select is the destination. This only replies if you have multiple Facebook groups, otherwise the only one that you have um, associated with your business manager is going to be automatically added in there. So that's of course something that you uh, want to go ahead and do. Very quickly, I've got some really exciting news. I've launched a new mentorship program to help you explode your business revenue and profits through paid ads and marketing. Now in this mentorship program, myself and my team will mentor you daily, literally every single working day. And because of that, spots are very limited. So if you're interested, you can click on a link in the video description below and book a call with one of my team members who can explain everything about the mentorship program and how it works. I'm really, really excited about this and I hope to be working with you and mentoring you very soon. Now, as I said, you can't optimize yet specifically for people to join your group, but what you can do is measure those results, right? So I'm an ads manager in the example ad account um, 
and the way you take a look at those results is you want to go ahead over to columns and then you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and then customize columns and then if i just go ahead and pop group into the search up here and you can select join group requests and cost per uh, join group request and if you go ahead and apply those now this is an example um, add account and um, there's just two draft example campaigns in here because I use this for demonstration purposes but if we scroll right to the end we will see that we would then be able to see okay we've been running this campaign to build our group um, you know we spent $100 on it we've got mm, you know I don't know 400 join group requests um, and then it will calculate what those you know, 25 cents each or whatever it is um, calculation in there okay so you'll be able to see those numbers you'll be able to track performance and that's going to be really helpful in terms of optimizing your ad campaign and working out which ads perform produce the better results which targeting options all that sort of stuff so just wanted to quickly show you that you can do that customize those columns and see that data and be able to use it to optimize so what should the ad itself focus on when it's within a campaign that's designed to get people to uh, to join your group it really needs to emphasize the benefits associated with becoming a group member they're going to be able to connect with like-minded people they're going to be able to share expertise and save themselves time my facebook group for example the tagline of it is save yourself years of trial and error and learn from others that's the whole premise around the group it's everyone talking in there about facebook advertising and there's people in there with years of experience they're happy to share and people can ask questions and save themselves years of trial and error and obviously a lot of costs and things along those lines so really emphasize the benefits associated with the group and if you want to know more about putting ads together i've created a video that shows you a super simple way to do it including a, a tool you can use to put creative together that's that's really quick and easy and, and something I'd recommend now the big question we also have to address here is why, why build a Facebook group why? why those of you that are already have Facebook groups and you're building them you'll completely get that you know this new feature is a game changer and how exciting it is but there'll probably be a lot of you that haven't got Facebook groups maybe you've thought about building a Facebook group uh, maybe you haven't but my business draws a tremendous amount of value from our Facebook group. 213,000 members is one of the most valuable digital assets that we have and we could support my entire agency, my entire 40 plus person agency based off of the leads, clients, etc. that we get from that Facebook group. It's a fantastic place to build a community and really warm up an audience over time. So if you offer anything that's like an expertise based service or anything where your prospects need to see you as uh, like a, an industry authority as someone who's credible as a business that's credible where they're going yes I do want to work with this company because of XYZ it, it's a bit more of an involved a thoughtful purchase um, then it's a great thing to set up because you can deliver tons of value you can build that community you can have it be something that, that builds over time and grows and when I first started I never thought that my Facebook group would be anywhere near as valuable as it is today so something I recommend a lot of businesses do put time and effort into building and this is going to make it a lot easier a Facebook group is all also one of the the few places where you do get genuine strong organic reach so if people join your group and you post in that group and interact and put content in there and put testimonials or whatever it is you want to put in there people will see that I can post for example a screenshot from a client's ad account that demonstrates results obviously with all the sensitive information blurred out and that will get tens of thousands of people see it within a couple of hours within the Facebook group now if I do that on my Facebook page and I still have 150 something thousand Facebook page followers so the audiences across those two are somewhat comparable I won't get anywhere near as much organic reach so being able to advertise to people and promote to people on a regular basis without having to pay to do so is obviously great and if you do that on top of your advertising it's just a win-win it's also really easy to ask someone to join a Facebook group it's not much of a commitment if you're struggling to get people from where they are right now to taking that first step whether it's you know booking a call or inquiring or, or something that's a bit more involved maybe just purchasing outright this can be a really nice easy simple first step so um, in early experimentation with this and this is a new feature we're seeing relatively inexpensive um, cost per uh, group joins um, which kind of makes sense because it's, it's, it's nice and easy for people to do so they don't feel like there's much cost to them so that they're, they're willing to, to go ahead and do it so it's a good first intermediary step and what we often find is that people that focus on these longer term strategies things like building a Facebook group their other campaigns so let's say they're running direct offer campaigns those really improve over time as the Facebook group is being built and building in the background and you're sort of depositing um, trust and value and goodwill into that warm audience you will see 
that in the rest of your campaigns. And speaking of taking a longer term approach to Facebook ads and that paying off massively, if you haven't already, I'd strongly recommend you check out my omnipresent content strategy. I show you exactly what it is and how it works in this video here. It's one of my absolute favorite Facebook advertising strategies and we've seen some fantastic results implementing it for clients over the past few years. Go ahead and check it out.